what were some of your early struggles? So, I mean, we're going to quickly shift to this, to this happiness topic because my, my early struggles were, uh, five business mistakes that cost me $9 million. And Good as, I look, as I look back on those five business mistakes, it was all about me trying to prove my worth to the world because I didn't have internal happiness. I didn't have internal peace. And so I woke every, every morning, not consciously, but unconsciously saying, I've got to prove myself to the world. And how do I do that? The one way that my father taught me um, was money, money, money proves your worth. So I was always focused on making a ton, a ton of money. So I did all of these things that could potentially hit that home run because, Hey, if I could make a million bucks or 10 million bucks, or whatever the number was, I'll be worthy. I'll be enough. So I chased these crazy, you know, ventures, um, that, that led to, you know, a lot, a lot of loss. I got you. So I think the first lesson that I'm hearing from that story is if your primary reason for getting involved in any activity or venture or opportunity and the primary and first reason you're getting into it is for the money and maybe the money alone, then there's a good chance that might not work out. That is very well said, Jay. Um, I think for the first time in my life, as I'm building this new coaching company to help people find true freedom, I had a coaching company back in 2007 to 17, ironically called Brad Chandler coaching you to freedom. But I thought you got freedom from money. And I've learned over the last year and a half, you don't get freedom from anything outside of yourself. And so if you're going in with the mindset, like I did 20 years ago, I've got to make a lot of money because one, I don't want to be homeless because when I was 10 years old, my mom said we might lose the house and move into public housing. So I had that that weighing on me. And then I had my sub my subconscious mind saying I need to make a lot of money to be worthy. And I did make a lot of money, but I also lost a lot of money. So this is the first time in my life where I'm looking at a new business venture and I have never talked about the dollars and cents of it. All I want to do is make an impact. I want to make the largest impact I can on the world while I'm still here. And I know in five years, two years, whatever it is, I have this sneaky suspicion that I'll make more money doing this than I ever did in real estate because my focus was at the wrong spot. It was about making money to get freedom and you can't ever get freedom from money. You can only get freedom from within. So since your primary focus now is not on making money, uh, how would you phrase your, what's your primary focus now? Making an impact, ch changing people's lives. My life, I, I went through a, a transformation the next Navy SEAL took me through a transformation in February of 2020, uh, 21. So a year and a half ago, and it so radically changed my life that I know that God put me on this earth to help other people through this, because there are so many suffering people, whether it's, you know, they're struggling with addiction or poor marriages or businesses that don't work and they're, they're, they're up and down all over the place. You know, the list goes on and on and on addiction, food, food, food problems, unhealthiness, uh, sickness, all of that can be solved by going back to your childhood, figuring out what these false beliefs are that, that, that got you through and helped you survive whatever childhood stress or trauma you went through, but they don't serve you as an adult. So for 47 years, I had the, I'm not enough syndrome. I've got to do better. I've got to prove, prove stuff. And it, it didn't serve me well. It cost me $9 million. It cost me two marriages. Um, cost me a lot of stuff, cost me, you know, uh, friendships, whatever relationships. And once I made that turn and figured out that those were all just lies that I was telling myself, I was living a, a life of false beliefs, which after talking with hundreds of people over the last year, most of us do that to some degree. When you can make that shift and realize that you are enough, just as you are, you were born in God's image. So you're love, you're this perfect creature, the whole world changes. And, and frankly, Jay, my business has changed. I, I, I I come to the office and most of the time I just spend working on the happiness stuff and I don't really do anything like my business is running itself and it's really, we're, we're making the most profit that we ever have in, in nearly 20 years.